Over the weekend, I was booked to film a very chic, sexy, modern, LA-style home during twilight. My last twilight shoot was a challenge because I had to use unusable footage. In fact, that was the topic of my previous video, so if you haven't watched that one yet, click the link in my description below. Now, knowing that I could save twilight footage, I was pretty confident going into the shoot until they requested a time lapse from day to night. And that's when I started to sweat because that meant I had to take a shot of the home with no disturbance for an hour. And as if that wasn't challenging enough, the real estate agents wanted an aerial time lapse. My drone batteries just don't last that long. And to top it all off, as sexy as this house is, it wasn't staged. I constantly film these empty houses and it's my job as an editor to make the video entertaining. So how did I pull this off? That is today's question. <laughs> Okay, so for the time-lapse shot, you really wouldn't think it would be that difficult. I mean, you just put the camera on a tripod and let the camera roll. That is true if there was no disturbance between the camera and the house. And by disturbance, I mean the agents and myself coming into frame while I filmed their talking intro. I really had no choice. That was the only time that they could do it because that's the only time both agents would be there because one had to leave early. But once that was done, we could still be seen moving around inside the house through the window. And for a house you're trying to sell, that just won't do. And last but not least, the agent that left early exited through the garage and left the garage door open for majority of the time lapse. Ideally, the whole time lapse would just be the home, undisturbed with the setting sun. To save this time lapse, the only usable portion of the footage was towards the end when it was already approaching dark. The remaining agent and myself were out of view from all the windows, and yes, the garage door is still open, but if you watch the full video, it actually ties in nicely from when the car pulls up into the driveway. In case you're wondering how I got that tilt for the time lapse, I did that on the Zion Crane version 2 with the motion time lapse feature. If you want a tutorial on that, let me know. Up next, we have the impossible aerial time lapse. The agents wanted a shot of the view with the changing sky, and they told me this once I arrived on site. As I said before, my drone batteries don't last that long, so we had to fake a time lapse. Now, this wasn't difficult to do in post, but it did require some on the spot, last minute creativity. So, here's what I did I took flight before sunset, and then again during the legal civil twilight 30 minute window. And in post, I just crossfaded the two together and I did some color grading to make it look a little bit darker. Now, as far as making the video entertaining, it's not too difficult to make these luxury homes look beautiful because a beautiful house is a beautiful house. But an unstaged, unfurnished home is significantly more difficult to make appealing because of the lack of material I have to work with. There's literally nothing for me to film except the space. To compensate for this, I do my best to make my camera movements captivating, as well as shoot close-ups to give it different perspective. I even had the agent get personal with the home by caressing some surfaces in an attempt to show how sexy the house was. I tell you all this to share the troubles I sometimes have with video production. Maybe we could all learn something together because I'm a firm believer in that how resourceful you are is more important than your resources or even your circumstances. You can't set up everything to be 100% perfect 100% of the time you have to be able to creatively problem solve. Anyway, that's all I have to say. If you have any tips for me, I'd love to hear it. Comment below. If you got anything out of this video, please show me some love and hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos just like this, consider subscribing. This is Kevin Mendoza. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.